Hey everyone, welcome to Bedtime Stories. Tonight we're reading Fitz and Cleo. <clears throat> Something in the attic. Was that you? No, I'm right next to you. What do you think it is? I don't know. It sounds angry. <clears throat> maybe it's a giant or a weasel or, or a giant weasel or maybe a giant robot. Just think what it comes in your head. A dragon turtle on vacation? A fairy? A mad scientist making stacks of delicious mutant pancakes? Maybe it's actually a cuddly mouse. A mouse wouldn't make that loud of a sound. Are you spooked? I am a spook. I do not get spooked. Not ever? Of course not. Let's go see what's in the dark attic, brothers first. Ooh, yay, spooky attic. Shh, we want the element of surprise. Spooky attic, spooky spooks. Might be a monster, might be some kooks. What are you singing? It's called the Spooky Attic Song. It's my favorite. You just made it up, didn't you? Yes, I did. Rustle, rustle. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Some terrible beast is up here with us. It's coming from over there. Shine your light on it. <gasps> oh, it's a precious little kitty cat. I will call him Mr. Boo. I love you, Mr. Boo. I will love you forever and ever and ever and ever. If we name him, we have to keep him. That's the whole point. He's a we wild cat. He doesn't want to stay inside a house with us. He has the DNA of tigers, the blood of lions and panthers. This cat wants to roam and hunt and climb, not stay here and... What? Ah, oh, Fitz, Mr. Boo loves you. <sighs> Khalil presents cat. Are the best. They're cuddly, they're adorable, they're perfect for playing dress up. A bestie, where'd you hide your booty? Oh, Madame Boo, you do look ravishing tonight. Yield to me, or I shall vanquish thee and take thy kingdom. No. They're super smart. Look at my intelligent little sir. You can see the wheels of his brain turning, working things out. You're just batting at some string. Yes, and he figured that out all by himself. They're super adorable. He's on my head again. Shh, let the precious darling sleep. Squee! Adorable, Mr. Boo's first little snore. That definitely came from his butt. <laughs> Can't sitting. Sit. Fitz, can you keep an eye on Mr. Boo? I have to organize my books. Of course. He's just a cat. Wow. Good. Now become best friends. Well, it's just us. I'm going to pet you now, okay? There, there. Nice Mr. Boo. Just a friendly, gentle, Head pat. Now that's not so bad, is it? <laughs> ah! 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 You're playing tag together. Fritz presents. Cats are the worst. They're moody. Wow. Oh, you want to be scratched? You're not all bad. I guess you can be pretty cute sometimes. <laughs> They shed? I hope you're pleased with yourself. Third time this week I've had to do laundry. <laughs> they never listen. My head, your bed. They're not the same thing. Do you understand? They're different. Wow. Good. Now this is your bed. Now go to sleep. Mm. 
beach, beach, beach. I love the beach. The waves, the sand, the smell, the fresh, salty air. That's right. Seaweed. Are you excited for your first beach day, Mr. Boo? He looks ridiculous. Wow. Bits, bits. Mr. Boo found a star, a real wishing star. This star fell from the way, from the deepest reaches of space, and Mr. Boo found it. This isn't a wishing star. It's a starfish, a common echidodon. They don't come from space. They live right here in the ocean. Oh, so what should we wish for? I'm going to wish for a sister for Mr. Boo. They'll be bestest friends forever, just like us. We all scream. Ice cream! I love ice cream. The most perfect thing for a hot day. Ice cream eating contest? Sure. Wow. On your marks. Get set. Go! <laughs> mm. <laughs> Brain freeze! I never want to feel that way again. Ice cream! Paper planes. For the loop de loop world record, she needs seven loops. Toss! One, two, three, back! Mow. Hey, knock it off! Mow. Swish, swoop! Four loop de loops. Good job, Cleo. Thanks! Let's see who can beat the record first. Okay! Whoosh! One, two, three, four, five! Stop that, Boo. Cleo almost had it. It's okay, Fitz. If we throw a bunch at once, Mr. Boo won't be able to get them all. <laughs> Six, seven, eight. We did it, Fitz. Ah, you showed Mr. Boo. Mr. Boo? Mr. Boo, where are you? <clears throat> Mr. Boo! My dearest Mr. Boo, you poor thing. He never stood a chance against loop de loops. <laughs> String theory. Today's experiment cause and effect. If I dangle this string above your head, you'll try to get it. Simple as that. Cause and effect. You want to get the string, don't you, Lil Boo? But you can't. It's too high. <laughs> Hello? Did you enjoy your time together? Hmm. Strange. What happened? Cause and effect. <laughs> Triple play. What's he doing? Catching flies. Why is Boo dressed like that? To play, of course. Doesn't he look like a professional? Cats don't Play baseball. Don't listen to Fitz, Mr. Boo. You can do anything you put your fuzzy little mind to. Let's show him what you can do. This is going to be hilarious. Slam. Whack. Tap. He can be on your team. You need all the help you can get. Four signs. It's a beautiful day for a launch. The sun is shining, the air is warm. I've done the calculations. I've built the rocket. Now all I need is an astronaut. Someone I can blast all the way to the moon. <coughs> Zip, tie, tie, tie. Oh, come on, it's for science. Stargazing. The Big Dipper. Wow, the universe is so big, filled with so many stars and planets. I think ours is the best planet. You can't know that. There are billions of planets in our galaxy alone. I do know it. Because you're on this planet, Fitz, and Mr. Boo is on this planet. We're on this planet together, so it has to be the best. I'm glad you're here with me too, Cleo. Wow.
Good night, Fitz. Good night, Cleo. Good night, Mr. Boo. The end. Thank you for reading with us.